Like this, dig this. Look, you're getting this on camera, right? Look, look, I didn't do this. You could do anything you want, but for me to be careful, I didn't go. Someone would say, that's that's pretty dissonant. Well, that because that's novel and that's cool, you know. No, because you say, you see, you come back that way. Because this has to come to here. If this is if you're going from here to here. You don't just step into the living room. You got to go through the foyer and the garden and everything. You say, you got that. And that, to me, that's going to make more sense. Essentially, that coron, it just depends on where what's emphasized around it. But for a student, they just have to understand, they call it coron, they call it sori because they're honoring, you know, a, a, another cultural. They're not saying microtones or quartertones. First thing we have to get students to understand is that there, there's, a, there's a pitch here, it, it has a, a personality. You do your thing and I'll be a parallel, I'll parallel play with you. It's a little Daskal, you could probably find Kulintang in here or Gamelan or anything. You could find little pieces of them, remnants of them to get your anchoring. For us, the anchoring is a third. Okay. Because students always are, are, are conditioned to hear major and minor third. So they okay. gotta hear the one that's in the middle. It's nice. different temperature than me. I mean, it's so, and we're together and we're grooving. It's like, we don't have to be unified. So it's not about, this is really important because yeah. the, the, the the Western way, you know, is like, you got to get straight on, man, 8440. Like, otherwise I'm like, no, you got your third and I got mine, you know? But that's not so new. Particularly in, um, well, when I listen to um, King Oliver's, you know, uh, the Creole jazz band, you know, they're, they're I hear a lot of different timbres, you know, and that continues on through the, you know, music of the 60s. And so I go back to African-American music as, as an American, uh, a U.S., you know, a reference. And I, say, I hear it there. But then I also hear it in Appalachia. I basically hear it outside the conservatory. Mm -hmm. That's where I hear, I hear it anywhere outside the so code. Don't, you, we, do, we don't want to match the timbres. We don't want yeah. to match the third, actually. It's like, yeah. it's like, but the... You don't want to match... I don't want to be you. And so the Coron Suri. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Right, the Coron Suri. <laughs> with that blues you've shown that if you work any system against any system like I said when Zofonun and Ka Kalanduyan he played a Kulintang thing it was, and he just did Chaharga and something and they just parallel play it's about parallel existence right you've got your parallel world and I have mine but somehow they they they, they orbit they do mm -hmm. orbit each other in a way that like the moon and the, and the, mm -hmm. and the earth are, don't collide mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's amazing and if that can happen, that already, why can't that happen it. with us, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what if we're all crowded together? What are we going to rely on to keep our humanity, you know, not, not go at each other's necks? Mm -hmm. 